And you're, you're here, thank you for being here, Alexis. You, your company has sort of moved in this direction recently of trying to promote virality with media. Now, I, I mean, that's a very general way of saying it, but can maybe you give us a, a sort of tighter spin on what you're trying to do for the media ecosystem here? Yeah. So basically what we realize is um, in this day and age, we can generate consistent virality. There's a method to the madness. Mm. And most people, most companies right now are doing that on the, on the article kind of uh, publishing kind of uh, sphere industry. Mm -hmm. And what we thought is you can apply the same model to brands and entertainment. So what we're trying to do is to do like a BuzzFeed for characters and brands. So mm -hmm. BuzzFeed meets Disney, that's coconuts. That's what we do. I got it. Well, let me, let me ask you then, why would you choose Asia as a place to do this? Why Hong Kong in particular? Yeah, I was here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you woke so up one yeah, day and yeah, you were like, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, this was my dream for, for a long, mm. long time. Uh, and I've been here nine years. Yeah. So, you know, I'm married to a local. So mm. this, is, this is where so I live. So you have roots. Okay. And, and the thing is, I mean, Hong Kong is so easy to set up a company. Sure, in the media scene, it's not the ideal place to be, but I want to change that. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we can open up the door and we can generate an industry here. Mm -hmm. And we have neighbors like uh, Philippines, for example, where I get a lot of freelancers to help. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty good. Good, okay, so everything's sort of regional and within within touch. My, my question about the virality thing, to go back to that is, what, what are some of the basic processes for this method that you say yeah. uh, that, that infiltrates this madness. Yeah. What, any tips you could give people about media? Yeah, I mean, we are, we are learning as we are doing. Obviously, in, mm -hmm. this is a field where there's no definite answers, and answers mm -hmm. keep changing, actually. But there's research that we are applying from Harvard. There's, there's a bunch of, uh, of media outlets that actually share their findings. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to apply that. It starts with something as simple as defining content that interests your audience. So you need to really understand the audience and what they are craving for, mm. and then just tune that content and format it in a way that it's easily shareable. That's the key aspect. Like any piece of content that we make, we need to make sure people want to click the mm. share button. So what's the business case to actually make it shareable? Like if I'm a brand, should I be producing content and then ha like charging people for that? What do you mean Definitely. exactly? I mean, uh, we there's two different ways of doing it, right? If you are Coca-Cola, obviously, you want to make an ad and you want people to share it, right? Mm -hmm. But that's it. Your story ends there. For us, we are building a brand on that content. That means we create this piece of content today, mm -hmm. and the piece of content we create tomorrow is going to build on that. So that means our audience keeps growing with us. It's like a snowball effect. Mm -hmm. So the business case is obvious. I mean, once you have like a few million followers on YouTube or on Facebook or whatever, you can make a ton of money in licensing. And mm -hmm. that's, that's where we play the game. Interesting. Yeah. So your your actual production of this company will be the ultimate test of whether this virality can happen. If you can break these open yeah. and then get the snowball effect, we will be watching coconuts, huh? Yeah. Thank you, Alexis. I appreciate Thanks a lot. It.